The Night Before Christmas is a holiday classic that will be read tonight to children all over the world. But few can match the poem's delivery by our own Leon Bibb. We bring you his favorite reading from 2019 at Cleveland's Charles Dickens School, our education station partner, presented once again with Leon's hope and Christmas wish to return again in person next year. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled in for a long winter's nap. When on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash to open the shutter, and there I opened the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. Ho, ho, ho. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet and Cupid, on Donder and Blixen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with the obstacles, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. And he was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held between his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger by the side of his nose, he gave a nod and up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh and he gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. And I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.